This is 5 Minute Friday 10 Day Detox. Welcome back to the Super Day Science Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Very excited to have you on the show, and today is going to be a super special episode. I would love to share an experience that I had with you. So it all started a couple of months ago when my friend and mentor Vitaly Dolgov, whom you probably know from the podcast already, uh, he sent me an email sharing a link to a, a YouTube channel, Sailing La Vagabond. So we'll link to the channel somewhere here. Um, and it's a great channel. They have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. It's a couple, Riley and Elena, who sail the world together. They've been doing it for three years and you get to see all the challenges and all the beautiful scenery that they see, all the uh, ways they fix the catamaran and how they go fishing and all these great things that they do and people that they meet. And so they document everything and it's a vlog. And so I watched it. I watched a couple of videos. I was very excited. Vitaly's like, oh, it'd be so cool to do something like this, you know, like go, go on a quick trip and see what saying is all about. And uh, along those videos, in one of them, when Riley and Elena took a break from sailing, uh, Elena went to a retreat in Bali called Natural Instinct Healing, where she did a 10 day detox. And basically it's a 10 day fast. I watched that, I got quite excited about that as well. It was quite random, right? Like a sailing blog and then a video about a 10 day fast. And the funny thing is I was already going to Bali. My friend Stefan invited me to come over um, to Bali to hang out for some time and you know do some surfing, chill out. And yeah, so I was coming here for 10 days anyway and then I was supposed to go somewhere else but then I thought, hey, look, I'm already in Bali. I randomly got this email from Vitaly about this sailing vlog. I randomly on that sailing vlog saw uh, a video about a 10 day fast. You know, I got to do it. So I extended my stay in Bali and that's where I am right now. This is natural instinct healing all around. And yeah, so for 10 days, I have not been eating anything. It is crazy, like literally anything. So it's not um, not just that like no solid foods, but I've been having smoothies. No, no smoothies even, not even smoothies. It's just, uh, it's not really, a, it's not just a water fast. So it's a water, it's a juice fast. So there's water, there's um, juice. Uh, so there's green juice, red juice. It's all vegetable or um, fruit juice. Then there's broth you get in the evening and it's 6 p.m. So it's just vegetable broth with, with broth. nothing else. And you just put cayenne pepper and salt in it and some lime and it tastes divine compared to not eating. And finally, you also get teas, different times, types of teas like licorice tea, cinnamon tea, ginger tea and so on. And that's it for 10 days. And so what I wanted to share with you is like proof. This is me. I've literally not eaten anything for 10 days. This is day 11. I started on day one at about 8.30. It's 8.50 on day 11, so it's been just over 20, 240 hours that I have eaten nothing, and I feel totally fine. I feel energized, I feel clear in my head, I feel um, excited about everything, it's so cool. And what I wanted to say is that like a lot of time in life, I have these uh, situations where like I skip a meal and I feel, oh, I'm missing out, I feel so hungry, I really, really wanna eat, but in reality, like I just went through an experience where I was not eating for 10 days and it stands to show that it, you will not, you know, hurt yourself ultimately if you, you know, hit skip, like, or for me, like I won't hurt myself if I skip a meal or even a day of eating, like let alone 10 days, right? Um, or 10 days of eating, let alone one day. <laughs> and if you ever want to do something like this, then it's, might be a good idea. Check with your doctor. I'm not a health practitioner and your dietitian and so on. But I wanted to give like give you a quick overview of what we did here at Natural Instinct Healing in case you're ever in Bali, in case you want to check out the same exact retreat because I feel like I got past this um, message from Elena or from Vitaly uh, or through Stefan and now I feel like I got to pass it on in case you guys ever want to do it. So um, in this retreat, I just wrote down a couple of uh, things here. So first of all, weight loss. I don't know how much I've lost weight yet. Uh, we're breaking our fast just now at 10 o'clock. So I'm going to go have and we're going to have um, papaya and uh, cashew nut uh, yogurt. So that'll be cool. But and then we'll be weighing ourselves up. So I don't know how much I've lost. But um, and you can see I'm not really doing it for weight loss. Like I don't have that much weight to lose it to start with. 
I started at 68 and uh, maybe we'll like add uh, my final weight here somewhere uh, once I know it. But people come here, some people come here for weight loss. Some people lose like 15 kilos, which is like 30 pounds or so. Uh, five, like a lady that left just yesterday, she lost uh, five kilos, which is about, about 10, 12 pounds. Um, yeah, so that's one thing, weight loss. The other thing is like, it's, uh, they, they provide a lot of cool activities. So for instance, we went for walks every second day, every, uh, every other second day, we went for a yoga or meditation. Uh, we also had lots of workshops about digestion, about food, how it affects your mood, how it affects your emotions, how it affects your health, what foods are good for you, what foods you need to avoid, and so on. So like I learned a lot of things along the way. Um, plus it's just very chill. Like it was really nice to chill out and like I didn't do enough of this. Like the mind detox, I was still working here and there, but there were certain periods of time where I just lay down and read a book. In fact, um, they were fully booked out. There was 12 people here this time. And so I was staying off site. You can stay on site. They, I think they have like 10 or eight rooms on site. Um, I was staying off site, so I'd come here. I would leave my computer and phone at uh, the Airbnb and I'd come here and just with a book and I would chill out, like do the workshops that they were uh, giving and like um, yoga and what, whatever else. And then just read a book and relax. Um, we also went for spas. We went for different hot, cold, uh, freezing and saunas and pools. I went for a bicycle ride. Lots of interesting and cool things happen here. And the people are great. So people who come to uh, things like this are, you know, you already know in advance that they're going to be great people, that they're going to be people who care about their health, who are health conscious, who are self-aware. And the conversations have been fantastic. And it was just really nice to meet everybody, really lovely uh, group of people that we had here. So that's uh, about fasting. So if you've never fasted before, uh, there's different types of fasting. There's like intermittent fasting where you don't eat for uh, 10 hours per day, I think. And then you just like only eight or, or actually, wait, sorry, you don't eat for 18 hours a day. And there's only like a six period of time, six hour period of time that you eat. Um, there's other ways of fasting. Again, check with your health practitioner, nutritionist and so on. Don't take this as health advice, but I'm just sharing my experience and, and I've had a fantastic time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and hope this inspired you to maybe, if not fast, then to look at food differently and to, you know, like one of the things that they sh say is that like a lot of the time we just eat fast food or we're always on the run, always on the go. Uh, we don't spend enough time. What really resonated with me is that digestion actually starts not when you put the food in your mouth, but when you actually not even smell it or see it, when you think about it, when you start thinking about food, like right now, if you think about your favorite food, I don't know, you think about a dragon fruit or or a mango or something and you will start you'll start feeling that the saliva have, coming into your mouth that means your digestion is already actually start, starts in the brain a lot of the time we just like get quick food whatever it's uber eats we nothing bad with uber eats or you know mcdonald's or something else and we just like eat it right away and so we skip a huge preparatory phase that's supposed to happen in our body and then we finish the food we run off so you know like at least for me this experience apart from anything apart from everything else that i've learned is going to be, make help me be more mindful and conscious about the food I eat and um, the preparation phase and so yeah hopefully that this video inspired you at least if not too fast to be a bit more conscious about food and uh, take that extra thought when uh, you are ordering a meal or starting to eat on that note thank you so much for being here I look forward to seeing you back here next time until then happy analyzing Forgot to say, I'm off to, in an hour, going to be eating my papaya and cashew yogurt. So I'll take a video and show you what it looks like. It's going to be epic. Actually, it's going to be divine. That's the word I was looking for. It's going to be divine. All right. See you guys. I'm so happy.